theme. I me lost me cards now. Now that there's there's more and more teams involved in that. Well, actually, no. It was pretty good timing from both, but it was better from the Thatcher. Yep, number two, he's going to take the first kill onto MV Taylor. That's going to be a grenade kill. I can't quite see where the silhouette of the body is. We're just having a little look for it. But either way, that's a great entrance from five. That kills somebody that... And I assume the smoke on the far side is forced back out. Has to go for the rotate and Ramu finds Shail in the meantime. That is that important kill over the top. That gets them that security of the hatch. That gets the Monty the ability to drive in. Good boys doing everything either side, but finally they're able to lock out one and the shield goes down and the door are blue as well. They've got to swing in behind it. Suddenly it's just static left, but static's on the hatch and gets the hatch cold. 10 seconds. They've got to recollect the diffuser. He's playing this to the best of his ability. He pulls himself back round. He's going to go for the rotate and see if he can strike elsewhere. The plant is coming through. It's a two versus one. He won't be able to get there in time, but they had some awareness of where he was coming from. Post plant fav just scramble it round the rotate. He doesn't know, or does he? As they stop, just stacked up on the door. And then that's what you get, a 2v1 onto the side. Banner pellets are going to try and breach that single wall to Mez, just where good boy is playing in the end. There will be a lot of utility dump into him. That's three flashes and a grenade. And it actually, it's going to be Shin that walks in on him. Good boy sees him, does end up getting taken out by number two's grenade. So that's really good from fav. They've taken the map control and they've taken it pretty quickly, even if they have lost a life doing so. They tried to get super aggressive in the swing round on the backside as well. You can see they lost one and wanted to try and step back down onto Static, who just... And why? But it seems like Sandbox, they've got themselves a little bit boxed in underneath. They're not going to extend too much. They know that there's still work to do. They know that they still have to try and force their way down. And as long as they're still shepherding and clearing, it's the fight inside that goes Arakaze's way. Yeah, and that's exactly... That's just a push in there from number two. However, Afro will push in and... Go for the plant. The library's been under control. Stock player's dead. The plant can absolutely go down here, and there's nothing the Sandbox can do. They do get a kill and make it into a man advantage for Sandbox, and will potentially look to retake library as Ramu finds one from Lobby, but will be traded back out. Typon trades one back out, and the Diffuser's going to be tapped. We're going to have this cat and mouse game of static. Do pros fake? He looks like he does get off it. He doesn't. He doesn't fake. And here we go. Swing comes around, tags, gets him to about 20 HP, and it looks like he's actually going to take the decision to go and push the player upstairs, who wisely moves away and drops into lobby. This cat mouse game drops down the hatch, Whoa. does get the kill. Can he get there in time? He looks like he will, and Static <laughs> will. Yeah, I, I genuinely, I don't think the Sophia played that one today in our Dan One Kia game. So, you know, we'll, we'll forgive them for a minute, and Whoa. as it's like Shadows heard me, he's got a C4, he's got an intro kill onto number two, and that is advantage sandbox in this round. That was a very quick bite in there, number two. Off. And look towards, actually, the north side of the building, trying to take control of Solaria and potentially push down the staircase, which, considering they've breached, is a bit of a curious decision because they're going to have to go in, and that will be a double C4 from Arakazi. But something that I said in the first few rounds was Favre a bit... Still start to roll your way across, apart from them. Static catches them out with the swing round. They've got Good Boy still locking in the swing from Red itself. There's that 10 second, the drop, and into trade back off. But there's Good Boy around the corner, gets the kick cold, the pop of the shotgun. After losing one, until the first time, they will not lose it the second. Doesn't go get the full pop, the hop in, and there's the take, and there's Arakaze with the lockdown from underneath. Afro is able to find Good Boy on the second swing round. They've slipped their way through, and they see the legs. Shile still wins it out, though. Takes care of Typon. They get downed. And now Afro is going to see if they can try and lock in the second. They get it. But at a bit of a blow and a cost there on that player. You know the saying, you've got away with murder there. That's exactly what Shile has done. Because in full view of Afro for about five seconds, Shile's managed to at least find a kill as the collapse comes in. 3v3, a minute to go. Arakaze's got a C4 on hand as well. This to stop the plant from double window itself, it's Arakaze. And, well, he's going to hear that hop and finds the player dropped. And now that puts them in the three versus two. Afro is still with the kit. Rami trying to find his way down the stairs. Just puts a bit of damage to the player who's dining who can pull away. It's 12 seconds. They know they've got to still get the plant. Static gets one more. How simply Arakazi and Static were able to play. In that is the one that wants to survive. They've decided against trying to clear out Shile, and I'm not exactly sure why. Static jumps out and gets a kill onto number two, who's had a very poor day, it has to be said, playing the Ayana. But once again, if you're going to go for this Solarium side of tech, you've got to dump the utility, you've got to clear out Shile on the Solarium stairs. You can't just swing in, and that's what Afro does. Does just swing in, manages to find the kill somehow swinging in, and does get the kill onto Shile, but still has Static to deal with. That will be taken by Shin. So not all is lost for Fav, even if it has taken them two minutes so far.
That's it, they had the body on the other side of Shin as well. I don't think you expect two people to go for the aggressive jump in there. Hoped it was just him versus the line. Other people were on windows, went for a bit of a mad dash and didn't quite come together. MV Taylor, he's just seeing a little bit of the side of a scrape there. Doesn't get the full lockdown and the smoke's gonna buy him a second of space, but Shin's pulled himself further back. Even more injured. Oh, they pretty much are equal. Their second engagement, but it's the third between the pair that finally finds a victor, Shin is able to get rid of the smoke and put them into the four versus two. Good boy has every bit of protection on that door and a little bit of silence waiting for the E1D to pass. The spray over the top, it's either side of the door, but it's good boy that locks it in. Finds Afro, finds 15 seconds left and a second one sprayed down inside the door of the corridor, swung onto the kitchen hatch. There's the fight back. Kills the other and unfortunately for Fav, they had every- Bit of support, good boy with the grenade wants to try and catch them out. There's the close roll. And there's the catch. Good boy. He has been that third wheel of putting bodies down and he's able to strike the first time. Rami's going to find the doors being heavily hit against. The pings come round the swing. Oh, there's just a little bit of a missed moment. Rami's able to capitalize. Good boy goes down. A bit of a break on the soft and a clever rotation there from Ramu. He's giving them a bit to think about with Afro on support. Yeah, they've really doubled down on actually clearing out the roam clear. He's got a clever rotate. He's got himself a bit closer, just tucked under the breach of the Maverick. There inside, though, Ramu has a different idea. Finds Shile. It might have been the cover on the hatch itself. Arakaze tries to drive through, gets caught up. Static at least gets one. It's Ramu with a triple. Little of sight on that, you know, on, near the table, on the pillar. Yeah, it's over the top, and it's good boy that suffers first, but finds that success. Why not just send the man in? Gets the kill, gets the pressure, and gets yourself still two minutes to go for the next clear. Ramu is suffering and so is afro suddenly there's all of this danger and damage done towards the site itself number two he's stacked up on the door waiting to go for a bit of a swing the upside down repel and i said they might have been a bit slow but they definitely changed my tune <laughs> yeah they managed to just take some risks there and not fully clear out slurim and then they just cleared it like that it was done and shin's now done in a 1v5 has to find the ace clutch to keep his team away from match point still with slurim windows and force them down in the trophy window well, here comes the player, the sense, the roll with the cover and the support of the E1D, but it's a trade out on the bottom of the stairs. Saipan and Good Boy find each other. And now Shao finds himself on the site. He needs that kit. He wants to try and grab it and get himself back towards the site that he was already on. But unfortunately, it was in the hands of the one person who's been knocked off the board, picked up and dropped off. Afro with the spray round and Ramu with the take over the side, looking to see if he can swing from one to the other. But they're actually going to pull themselves back in. It was an attempt here from Sandbox. It's something a little bit fast and... Well, if the kit had been in somebody else's hands, it might have been successful. But now there's not an impossible task, but a very... Yeah, just have a conversation at this point. I think, lads, there's yeah. not really anything else you can do. Looks like Emmett Taylor might still be trying to get his get his exit frags, get his stats up. But like you say, have a conversation with each other. Because you know that the next site is going to be Wine Salad Snowmobile. And you know that actually, strategically, Sandbox failed spectacularly at that site. Therefore, you know, have a conversation. The rest of the team will be having a conversation as Emmett does try this out. Ah, that's a five versus five. They still have players above as well, but Shiles going to get the opener there. Ramu goes down. Afro trying his best to stop it with the swing and the plant attempt. And with 15 seconds, the canister is a very important play. The grenade over the top goes a bit too far. Typon's hoping to see if he can pop up and pop down. Whoever goes over the top, and there it is. One apiece. The door gets locked in as well. A handful of seconds. Good boy's trying to cover static either side. Swings round desperate. That's C4. A very important catch out. Good boy is doing everything he can to hold the player up, but goes down in the end swing leaving just a shile he was above before oh, they're going no. for the defuse he's not going to get there in time he's at least able to find one but distance too great the side itself is the one below but there's still a player that they need to root out and he's in a pretty default place to be rooted out shin does find static and good boy finds revenge a quick play back in now afro is even in more of a ticey situation sprays a little bit does a bit of damage to good boy who is no more v taylor he's knocking on the door of the site 20 seconds and he slips his way past the smoke canister number two is close for the attempt to stop any attempt on a plant here but there's the player above the hatch do they know they don't the swing round the response is fast and that just leaves rami round on the back stairs gets one but arakaze is going to get this kit down on the far side Sort of hoped somebody else would swing in, but they just sat and watched the cover, and now they can rebuild one inside the site itself, and 
one above by the looks of it. Oh, in fact, no, they've pulled themselves all the way outside. They have the drone watching. They're playing behind the camera. At this point, with that drone and that intel, that is, in a lot of people's books, all she wrote. But Ramu is still going to try and make this clutch happen. Slow creep 